Meow. 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 Yes, there's been a lot of zone lately. It's because I've been recording late at night where I'm in my bedroom and zone lives in my bedroom, so you see lots of zone kitty. Good kitten internet. Good kitten internet. Um, so, I'm just going to hopefully be a somewhat quick video. Who knows how long this will actually be because it's me. Uh, so, thank you for those of you that were concerned about me yesterday. I, again, I'm okay. I just need time to recover, which takes a while. Um, so, today's Friday. Uh, it's the 26th, is it, I think? Anyway, um, and myself and my group of friends all go out to eat Friday night. And it's been getting harder for me to do this every time. Uh, so I have a problem with noise. Uh, for those of you that have been in restaurants in the United States over the past five, ten, more like five to ten years, uh, you may have noticed, or maybe you haven't noticed, uh, there's been a trend of restaurants getting noisier. Uh, people are building restaurants in areas where the ceiling is exposed to rafters, the floors are all hardwood, and basically they're eliminating all of the ways a restaurant has of reducing noise. So restaurants are becoming much, much noisier as a result. Um, my partner has a similar issue. My partner's issue is more with cacophony, namely a bunch of different noises all happening at once. That actually doesn't bother me. What bothers me is amplitude or volume. Uh, effectively, there could be hundreds of quiet conversations going around. I can be capable of hearing all of them, and it wouldn't bother me in the slightest. On the other hand, five conversations going on where everybody's yelling at the top of their lungs bothers me quite a bit. And it's getting harder and harder to find restaurants that are, I'm not even saying quiet, but not super noisy. And whenever I'm dealing with recovery from anxiety issues, Noise bothers me a lot more, and the restaurant we went to tonight is a standard restaurant for us, but most of the seats in the restaurant are super noisy, and today was no exception, and it drained me quite a bit. I actually started falling asleep at the table. Um, I hate that. I'm there to eat food that I wouldn't normally cook, and also socialize with my friends. I... the experience of eating food is greatly reduced whenever it's noisy. I, like a lot of people, I'm just more conscious of it, my sense of taste is reduced when other senses are getting overwhelmed. So, for an example, if it's a very visually distracting area, you may notice that food tastes more bland. Um, in my case, if it's very distracting noise-wise, or just I'm dealing with constant amounts of noise, I don't taste food as well. So the food doesn't, food kind of tastes bland at that point. Um, yeah, there's been a couple of times where I've been bothered so much that I basically stop being able to communicate. Um, it's not that I'm shutting down so much as I'm trying anything whatsoever to ignore how stressful the situation is for me. Uh, my group of friends, we have a rotation for when we, where we choose to go out to eat. Problem being that that means that I only have one pick, and since I'm the only one affected by noise like that, unless if my partner's in town, that means that most of the rest of the time I'm in super noisy places. And again, it's not like they're choosing the high volume restaurants. That's most of the restaurants in Madison and the surrounding areas. In fact, it's almost all of them. There's a couple of exceptions that I keep finding and those are the restaurants that I usually choose, but for the most part it's all super noisy. Uh, it's the same reason why I don't go to concerts. 
outside of classical music concerts or video game music concerts because they're all too loud for me. Um, and I'm not just saying the types of concerts that you should probably really be wearing earplugs for. I'm not even talking that level of loud. I'm talking about a standard concert is way too loud for me. Uh, probably way too loud by double or more volume. Uh, I do have tinnitus, so I have ringing in my ears whenever I'm exposed to high volume. But for me, high volume seems to be a lot lower of a threshold than most people. I don't quite understand why. I've got a couple of theories. Um, there are a couple of things that I get very flustered about be being overwhelmed. Volume is the main one, but also sense of smell is the other one. Um, these are signs of either ADHD or autism frequently. And there's been some mention that I may be aut on the autistic spectrum. Wouldn't surprise me. But, yeah, I don't have a conclusive reason for it. How about any of you? Um, does volume bother you? I... On the plus side, being on the internet, you have a volume control, and it's part of the reason why I enjoy doing things on the internet. Um, I can even watch videos of, you know, like Critical Role and things like that, where there's a bunch of people talking all at once, and... Again, it doesn't bother me. It's the volume that bothers me. <sighs> yeah. That's really about all I wanted to talk about. Oh, oh kitty cat. <sighs> Tomorrow's the weekend. Um, strangely enough, even though today I'm wearing short sleeve t-shirt and shorts for breath on what the weather's been like. Um, yesterday was, I think, had a high of 20? Or was that the day before? Would have been the day before. Yesterday was rainy. Um, so Wednesday, we had a high of 20 degrees Celsius. Tomorrow, we're dropping below freezing and have um, over 10 centimeters of snow. Yep. Have a nice day.